Developers hope a $75 million rehab of the historic Uptown Theater can give a boost to a changing neighborhood on the city's north side, but the area's crime problem is a big concern to some residents. And Eyewitness News reporter Megan Hickey is live from the Uptown neighborhood with more on this project. Megan? Stacy, it's a project that's poised to have an enormous impact on the Uptown community, but residents who live here want to know if it could really help make their neighborhood safer. Underneath the cobwebs, dust and debris, we got a look at what remains of the 93-year-old Uptown Theater and heard about the $75 million plans for its future, a complete restoration by the year 2020. But residents who live and work in the area hope it can do more than bring economic opportunities. They hope it can bring safety. I just heard a loud pow pow. Antel Horton was there the day that this Starbucks, less than 500 feet from the Uptown Theater, was the scene of a triple shooting in November. A 28-year-old man was killed and a 12-year-old boy was one of the wounded. Calls for service in Uptown, which straddles the 19th and 20th police districts, are up 30 percent. But 20th District Commander Sean Logren tells me overall crime is actually down. It means people are more aware of their surroundings, more involved and more confident in the responses of police. Both he and 19th District Commander Mark Buslick acknowledged that the Starbucks shooting rattled residents, but noted that statistically violent crime is down from last year. The Starbucks murder was such an anomaly um, that, you know, I don't think it reflects the general crime in the area at all. They're hopeful that transforming the landmark theater building into the crown jewel of the area's entertainment district will mean economic revitalization and a drop in crime. Ward 46 Alderman James Kappelman made another point. It's going to bring more job opportunities. And if you want to reduce crime, bring in more job opportunities. And residents who have lived here for decades have their fingers crossed. Now, the building's owner tells us this is the largest freestanding theater in the United States. It closed its doors in 1981. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.